Hey, Denar Landing here. Today is Saturday, August 31st, 2019, and this is from Restored Republic via GCR compiled by Judy Byington. Uh, it says, let's see, it says, according to Intel in the below update, number one, on Thursday, August 22nd, the RV was released when U.S. Thunderbirds and British Red Arrows flew down the Hudson River at opening bell of the stock market signifying death of the fiat system and activation of the new quantum financial system. At that same time, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday, August 22nd, Mad Dog Exchange became partially liquid and was promised the first Zimbom payout by October 1st. Over this coming weekend, number one, MR, MR Isles said, during the TNT a uh, call I got a call from a friend who was a senior manager at a tier two bank. She received a call at 8 a.m. this morning, Friday, August 30th, notifying her that 800 numbers would be released over the weekend. Number two, POTUS canceled trip overseas and was now going to Camp David for the weekend. Military chatter said POTUS would pull the trigger on our reset at Camp David. Number three, Mark Z's European contact said that liquidity and release of all holds on accounts would occur over the weekend. Uh, Friday, August 30th, number one, an Iraq article came out at 1.40 August 30th, said that it, it is completed. Number two, TNT update Friday, August 30th, a bank source reported that a code change occurred Friday, August 30th, causing them to experience extreme excitement. Saturday, August 31st, number one, Redeemers in the U.S. and Europe with SKRs have been told they would be liquid on Saturday, August 31st. Number two, the window for 800 numbers released for the Internet Group to set and be at appointments appeared to be by Saturday night, August 31st. Number three, from Fleming, we are just waiting to see if we have heard about liquidity on Saturday, August 31st was true or not. Uh, Sunday, September 1st. Number one, sun, uh, September 1st was the beginning of the Iraqi New Year, and according to Mark Z, it was the date that for some time Iraq had been pushing to be for the reset. Number two, September 1st was the beginning of the new quarter, the day after all banks across the globe were closed at the same time. Okay, this is from August 30th, TNT call with uh, Ray and Tony. Number one, Tony believed it would be a super fantastic weekend. Number two, he was waiting to receive the 800 numbers. Number three, he was 95% sure this would be their last Friday call. Number four, there were articles out in Iraq telling the citizens to get ready to receive the new dinar coins, which would not be necessary unless there was an RV. Number five, September 1st was the beginning of the new Iraqi year, and it was the date Iraq had been pushing for the reset for some time. Number six, an Iraq article came out at 1.40 today, August 30th, said it is completed. Number seven, Friday, August 30th, TNT update, a bank source reported that a code change occurred today, causing them to experience extreme excitement. Uh, number eight, uh, MR Isles, or Mr. Isles, during today's TNT call, I got a call from a friend who was a senior manager at Tier 2 Bank. She received a call at 8 a.m. this morning notifying her that 800 numbers would be released over the weekend and for her to be ready. She also was told that the plan was to complete all tiers by September 10th. She had her first training last October. Okay, uh, now this is from August 30th, Morning Coffee with Mark Z and Mr. Cottrell. Number one, a member said POTUS canceled trip overseas. Now going to Camp David for the weekend. Number two, military trad chatter said POTUS would pull the trigger on our reset at Camp David. Number three, European contacts now say liquidity and release of all holds on accounts will occur over the weekend. Number four, Iraq has always been pushing for reset on September 1st. Number five, in Reno, a number of Zim swaps were processed yesterday, Thursday, August 29th. Number six, from Fleming, we're just waiting to see... Uh, if what we have heard about liquidity was true or not, number seven, the Iraqi dinar was said to be between $3.91 and $4.25. Number eight, redemption centers were on call this weekend. Number nine, the dong rate was $2.25. 
The Dong contract rate could be up to $6, and 47 cents street rate would float upward. Number 10, the cross-border interbank payment system was launched in October 2015. Um, the SIPS was a worldwide interbank payment system backed by the People's Bank of China, or the PBOC, China's central bank. Its main purpose was to facilitate the use of renminbi globally by cutting costs and process times. Number 11, I think we're at the tail end of this. We'll see something happen Sunday and Monday. Number 12, for a while now, Mnuchin, the inspector general, and a team are auditing the U.S. Treasury. The first report has gone to Congress. This has led to 33 arrests, 35 indictments, 21 convictions. They have been auditing the Federal Reserve and Gold Reserve. A lot is not reported on, but here's a link showing there are really things moving forward to get us out of this mess. Number 14, uh, from Mike Cottrell, it was only common sense that the Chinese were part of the gold treaty and the IMF had not yet announced the world was on the gold standard. A currency swap is exchanging fiat currency for fiat currency. That is currently going on. Our exchange will be from fiat currency to asset slash gold back currency on a one-to-one. -one. When I put the codes in, the new currency will be released and you'll have a short time, maybe 30 days, to exchange your fiat for new currency. At this point, there will be no Forex buys and sells. Okay, this is from um, RV Intelligence Alert, uh, titled Pressure. Number one, President Trump was utilizing the Emergency Economic Powers Act to put economic pressure on the Chinese government and would continue to until the Chinese government underwent reforms to become a republic. If China did not undergo reforms, the China, Chinese people would lose faith in their government therefore causing a revolution. The situation in Hong Kong was the beginning of the end of communism. Number two, the IG report on James Comey has been released and revealed an even larger conspiracy. Expect more documents, reports, and investigations to be released exposing the corruption by deep state cabal. Number three, the U.S. dollar was expected to plummet during the process of D-class, thus triggering the return to gold standard. Number four, President Trump would declare a state of emergency to save the U.S. dollar by returning to the gold standard via executive order. Number five, the RV was expected to occur before the U.S. dollar plummets, which was quickly approaching as the first wave of D-class began. And that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in.